good uh, morning guys welcome to today's video we're still sleeping is the crack of dawn we're headed down to put the horses out and then we're going to camp no matter how stressed you are no matter how much of a hurry you're on i told you this the other day once you get to the barn everything slows down any of you guys are feeling super stressed get yourself a barn and some horses the best therapy of life listen you hear it Oh, she kisses you too. Sophie didn't teach her to kiss, she just kisses. She's such a loving girl. Does she look like she's gotten a little bit bigger even? Here you go, girl. Yeah, can we show them again? She doesn't even have any treats, she just does it. Uh-oh. Sit. 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 Oh. Okay, well, I was wrong. Girlfriend needs her treat. All right, feeding is done. We just have to lead them out. We just have to lead them out. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys a trick before I get in the car, because today's gonna be a crazy day for us. I'm gonna help with camp, like I told you. What? <laughs> yeah, camp, camp. Anyways, I'm gonna tell them a trick. Move out of the way there, sister. I need this stall for the trick. So what basically, you no, know, because I need this one. This is a special one. And that's good. All right, so basically, the trick is this. Say you have a question, like, God, I'm going to a horse show soon, and I want to know what am I going to win? What am I going to win, God? What color am I going to win? Like, am I going to win? Am I not going to win? So you ask God the question, God, am I going to win at the horse show? And then you wait. That's all you have to do, just ask and wait. And while you're waiting, you watch. Ask, wait, and watch. And within a couple of days, God will show you something all the time repeated repeated signs you'll start to notice the same thing over and over and over no matter where you go it's called signs god sends you signs there's lots of ways god tells you things and guides you and helps you but this is one of the ways and it's called signs it will be like if you're going to a horse show and suddenly you take note of the ribbons that have been here all the time and that could mean that you are going to win ribbons it could mean that you're going to win the color of the ribbon look at all these first place ribbon so yeah but there's a yellow oh yeah it's hiding what, what number is yellow four uh I think what number is three it's very don't touch that's first it's oh fourth so maybe god's trying to tell you you're gonna win fourth this weekend oh well oh well that's and good then, a ribbon is good um has long as it's been good yeah, we don't care as long as Finney's being good. So, or it could mean that you're gonna win red because there's first, a lot of red. First, 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 first. But God doesn't just tell you one time, like you notice ribbons hanging on a stall that you never wrote as, noticed before, but suddenly you start noticing, like it'll stand out to you. You'll start to see colors places, like red here, and red here, and red there. So if you just said, did you plan this, and red here. So if you just said, did you plan this whole thing? I did not plan it, but that is what happens. And for me, when I see a sign, I know it in my heart. So there's like a feeling that comes with it. Like, I don't know if that happens for everybody, but I don't know. There's like, a f oh, and I see a red sign up there, stop sign. Like there's a red car. Yeah, it's like all of a sudden a color or a sign will stand out so much that it draws your attention. Like God draws your attention to it. So you weren't even gonna look there and all of a sudden you look and that big red Coca-Cola truck. And the red on the gate. And the red garbage can. And the red on the gate. And it stands out, you guys, like stands out. And the red dot. To the point where you can't ignore God's sign. So that is my lesson for you guys today, is my thing that you guys should try. And it might take a while for you to understand, but God is patient and God is kind and he always waits for you. So try, try, just ask a question today. God, is this gonna happen? And watch for signs. Some people call it coincidence, but there are no coincidences in life. Every single thing that you hear and see and do are meant to happen and are meant to teach you something. So did she, oh my goodness, look at your face. You're such I a nasty girl. Her, her nose this summer I'll be by your side.
Right, let's do it, Penny Pickle. Soon we're gonna be riding again, Pen. You should be going fast. Slow it down, sister. Slow it down. Every time I have my camera on, she's like, hmm, what can I do today? She thinks every time I bring her out here, or anytime I do something with her, she should get a treat. So she always stops and asks first. Look at her motor, though. Like, that's my girl. That's the girl that I can't wait to ride. I didn't even know you, I didn't even see you come down. You're wearing jeans, it's the hottest day of the year. And they're ripped. And they're ripped, okay, that'll work. Well. All right, we're ready to roll. We ready to roll? Noah was tame. She would be there doing camp too. Yeah, we almost thought about taking Gracie. We All of our girls need to be brushed today. Whoa, look at, Jason. look at Penny goes all the way to her favorite spot. Like she knows where she wants to go. Look at her. I don't know why she. My dog's just there picking up a stick. What is she doing down there? Eating. Your hair looks. Made it frizzy. You brushed out the curls and made it frizzy. Oh, I like it. You forgot it does that. It's been so long. Okay, honestly, I've just discovered Sam's big complaint about the deaf dog syndrome. I was just walking, minding my own business, making noise, but Daisy couldn't hear. She turned around really fast and was running smashed straight into me almost knocked me over she has ran sam over before like ruby and that's... molly when they were playing they both ran full speed into my back legs yeah Both of them, they were like fighting each other <laughs> i just barely left her all right we're headed out we'll see you guys at camp so she's going to the bathroom we'll see you guys at ben, camp ruby. are we forgetting anything i don't think so so there's 10 kids today at camp and I'm on craft. I'm gonna show you guys. I just cleaned up this whole craft station because Sophie was the last craft girl. I got booted. I wanted to be the camp runner, which is like running the ponies with the kids on it. But I just did Chase Me Charlie with them to get out all their energy. And there's three boys here and they've never been before. And so fun, like I miss kids, I miss them. So this is all my stuff and I gotta figure out what we're doing. I need scissors. All right, all the kids just left. I've lost them. Keeping them all contained is hard. This is the craft we did. It's stained glass. Beautiful. Isn't it nice? Everybody did one, and now we're going to go on a nature trail out in the woods. So I'm walking with all the kids in the woods, and then there was a stampede. Yep. Good job, Laura. First time she's ever seen a stampede. And the horses are like, what are these kids? <laughs> I have five yeah, kids with me. Look at them! Look at those horses! Aren't they so cute? We found them! See these two right here? Yeah. Those are our horses. The white one and... And the other ones are just wild horses? No, they're not wild. They all belong to people. <laughs> Hello! The one day our horses come. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Literally every horse is coming up to say hi to us. Yeah. Except for ours left. They're going in the forest because they're going to get hay or they're just following their friends. They don't want to be alone. Let's go and yeah, we stand out of the way of the path. Is this the horse we already saw? Is this the horse we already saw? Oh. No, the other horse walked back to the Oh, okay, watch here. So this is our horse right here, this one that's coming. That's Chino. You got it. Because you get to know what your horse looks like, just like you know what your mom looks like and your sister looks like. You knew that one was Finn because you recognized what he looked like. He's the only yellow one in the whole field. Aww. They love kids. But you know what? Finn is looking at me like, what are you doing? Can't figure it out. I just found out that we have a 20 minute break so the horses can have a break and we get a snack. I get to eat a snack. Oh, hi. We're doing exercises on the horse. Sophie just informed me that I'm running for the next thing so that uh, she's gonna do the craft, which is good because I feel like running. What? Stand there.
there talking to Gabby and Kaylee and Sophie, and Gabby's like, oh, excuse me, the kids are not supervised. They're having their snack. We need to go. Gabby's counselor of the of the day. All right, this is our snack. Want to see what I have for snack? I have in my purse. I'm gonna show Fiona what I have. You know what they have at the beach, Kaylee? I have this bag of candy I got last night at the beach. Um, so I have, I'm so hungry too. I have cucumbers from my garden. Look at how good they look. And I also have tomatoes from my garden because I've been liking that. Look at Sophie. This is what I'm going to look like soon. I should put my hair in a pony. I washed my um, legs off and my feet because Furio kicked her all over you. Oh, I'm not getting Furio, I hope. Oh, I think you are. You think I am? She's probably going to get you a slow so one. Wow, I can run. You think I can't run? Problem in craft zone. It's so windy in here, nice and cool, but everything's blowing away. I am being the runner for Furio. Hope you guys don't mind seeing camp, a camp day, a horse camp day, and not seeing any of the kids. I didn't ask if I could video them. I don't want to just video them. So Sophie's taking over with the craft, and she's got two boys. And I am going to do the running. She said it's really hard. Maybe I should pee first. Better pee first. Because I'm going to be running. Camp is done. Super fun. I love kids. I forgot how much I love kids. Like, I love kids. Some people love kids. Some people don't love kids. Some people are really good with kids. Some people get frustrated with kids. I love them. I could just... I could never met a kid I didn't love. And I was grateful to have the opportunity to do it. But tomorrow I'm not. It is hot. We're headed in now to the beach with Fiona. It's gonna take her baby to the beach for the first time. And Kaylee is going to the beach and we're gonna go there because it is hot. Holy heck, I'm dying of heat. All right, we got one floaty. We brought all the floaties today. Two and three. And Sophie, you want your noodle? Hello. <laughs> So we're still at the beach. We've been here all afternoon. It's hard to video at the beach. Sophie's having a snack. The girls have a snack. Now there's a whole group over there playing volleyball. It's one of our favorite things to do at the beach. At least it's one of the girls' favorite things to do at the beach. My favorite kind of chips. Kobe! What are they? They're cheddar jalapeno. Cheddar jalapeno. Jalapeno. I looked over in the water. There's a whole group of kids out there playing. And Sophie was in a splashing war with a guy, mm -hmm. and I heard him say, I thought you were the nice one. I yelled at a kid today because I was talking to her, and she did not answer me. So I'm like, hey, you need to listen to me. Oh, there's a, that's mean. I didn't yell at any kids today. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 